In this lesson, you will learn how to make ruffles or pleats of different kinds with utmost ease using the Usha Janomi ruffler foot. This foot is absolutely the easiest way to add those beautiful accents to your outfits or even add a feminine touch to your home decor accessories. For this lesson, you will need the Usha Janomi ruffler foot. Four strips of fabric, say about 5 inches by 15 inches, can be assorted colors and a pair of scissors. This is the ruffler foot. It may appear bulky and complicated, but it is very simple to use, so do not panic. This here is the ratchet gear feed plate. These slots with numbers here, this allows you to control how far apart or how close you want the ruffles. The first slot marked 1 means there will be a ruffle after every stitch. The slot mark 6 means there will be a ruffle after every 6 stitches. And the next slot number 12 means a ruffle for every 12 stitches. The slot on the extreme left with the star mark is for straight stitches, should you wish to have ruffles only at intervals. This black screw here is the ruffling depth screw and allows you to adjust the depth of the pleats. One is for really tiny pleats. 4, 6 and 8 increasingly make deeper pleats. Remove the normal presser foot and snap on the ruffler foot with the black plastic arm going over the needle screw as shown in the video. We will begin with ruffles for every stitch by using this first slot here. Set your machine, turn the thread tension dial to 4. Select A on your pattern selector dial for straight stitches and set the stitch length at 2.5. Feed the first strip of fabric into the ruffler foot slit like this and begin sewing. Next, let's try out the 6 stitches slot by moving the ratchet gear feed plate. Feed the next strip of fabric you have into the ruffler foot slit and sew to get a ruffle after every 6 stitches. Now move to the slot number 12. Feed the third piece of fabric and begin to sew. Now, lay them horizontally, one next to each other and you will see that the strip stitched on slot 1 has ruffles that are closer to each other. The one stitched on the 6 stitches slot has ruffles 6 stitches apart. And the strip stitched on the slot number 12 created a series of pleats 12 stitches apart. Now to see the effect of the depth screw on the pleats of the fabric. For this, we will need one strip of cloth for practice. Set your machine. Shift the ratchet gear to slot 1 for a ruffle after every stitch. Set the ruffling depth screw to 8. Feed the fabric and sew till you have about 5 inches of ruffled stitches at this setting. Next, change the depth to 6 by moving the ruffling depth screw. Lift the presser foot and slide about 3-4 inches of the fabric following the ruffles you just made. Then, sew another 5 inches of ruffles with the depth. Now reduce the depth to 4 and follow the same process of leaving some fabric before you sew another 5 inches of ruffles. For the last step, reduce the depth to 1 and sew. Now, remove the strip from the machine and lay it out. See the effect of the ruffle depth screw 
the ruffles made on number 1 are very lightly pulled while those made on number 8 take in a lot of fabric. As you practice, you will also learn how much fabric you will need for various projects. Now that you have seen the effect of the various depths, let's move on to one more interesting aspect that we can use for multiple things. To create ruffles and attach the fabric at the same time. This is really cool and saves you the hassle and pain of doing two rounds of stitching and aligning. For this you will need one piece of fabric that is 6 inches by 8 inches and one strip of fabric a little longer than the base fabric which you will be using to make the ruffles. Set the ruffle ratchet gear at 6 and increase depth to 8. You may select the stitch and depth as desired. Put the 6 by 8 piece of fabric under the presser foot. Then insert the strip of fabric that is to be attached and ruffled into the ruffle foot slit as shown in the video. Once both pieces are in place, begin to sew. See how evenly the ruffles get created at the same time, securing both the pieces together. Trim the extra thread and cut the extra fabric. This is what it should look like. The piece of fabric attached with ruffles after every six stitches. Ruffles can be used creatively anywhere and everywhere. Use ruffles and pleats to embellish your dress and accessories. They add flair, panache and style wherever added. Experiment with depth and tuck lengths to create beautiful designs. Like in this hairband, this is where we sew the ruffles. Practice and experiment and see how dramatically it can alter anything you wish to.